Hey guys, it's Mitch. I'm um, sorry I haven't put any tutorials up on here. Um, I've been uh, on, hol on holiday for like a week or so and I just got back yesterday. So I thought I'd make a tutorial for you guys. Um, this one's going to be pretty simple. It's just how to um, install plugins on Cinema 4D. Um, this is quite useful because it just gives you a whole shitload of new options if you find all the plugins you want and know how to install them. Um, the one I'm going to show you to do, the one I'm going to get today is a destructor. Oh, well, a destructing one. So it's called the Thrasy. I'm not sure I spell it. There we go, spell it right. Okay, I'm going to go on this first one. So if you just Google Thrasy, it'll come up. Um, click on the first one. <coughs> it's loading. Um, so this is what it does here. Some in, uh, just it's free. See free. Those are just some um, things that explain what it does. And this is what you can do if you. I'm not, I'm not sure how well you guys are gonna be able to see that, but it's just a video of a building crumbling using this plugin. So I'm just going to scroll down to here under these pictures and you can see there's the version of Cinema 4D. I have 11.5, some people might have 12 because I've seen some tutorials on YouTube on how to get 12. But I haven't seen one for Mac yet, I don't really mind. Um, so I'm just going to click on this, let it download, uh, show in Finder or Folder. And as you can see it has that weird ass logo, that's because I have an RAR. Um, expander which I just downloaded because I cleared my downloads folder the other day and apparently it deletes um, deletes the program which was weird. Okay so here it is here. I'm just going to open it up and I'm just going to copy this folder and here is just all this stuff which is what you need. So I'm just going to copy this folder. Command C on Mac, Control C on um, PC. I'm going to go to my applications and I'm going to find the Max on folder because that's the people who make Cinema 4D. I'm going to go to this one, not this one, not the net render, but the just Cinema 4D R11.5. I'm going to, and once you're in that folder, you go to plugins and then you just paste it there. You're probably typing your password. And there we go. Now, if I go to Cinema 4D, sorry if this takes ages to load because Sometimes when you do plugins, it takes quite a long time. Because I had when I um, installed mine, I did all the serial numbers, so it installed everything that it came with. <coughs> all right, so let it load. There we go. See so, yeah, now if I go to plugins, there it is, Rossi 1.22, and then there's all these. And see if I click on this one, it comes up with the pictures like they were under the video. And so yeah, I'm just still learning how to um, use this plugin, so once I've got a hang of it, I'll put a tutorial up for you guys. Alright, so thanks for watching. Um, go subscribe to my channel. There's a more detailed, um, for more detailed tutorials on pretty much anything, just ask. So yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.